Browning and Coach Lewis Stahn going over last-minute details as he gets set to skate for gold and cap a comeback. His parents are here in the audience to cheer him on tonight, and Browning's success is a family affair. Albertville, France, the Olympic experience bittersweet for the three-time world champion. But when times are tough, there's always family to lean on. I went home. I, uh, I stayed home for like two weeks at a time. I took a month off after Stars and Ice to really let myself start thinking. It took really two or three months before I really knew what I wanted to do. And he was washing the truck, and I was throwing snowballs at a power pole. And the more I thought about, the harder the snowballs were throwing at that power pole. And he just kept washing and just throwing ideas back at me. And I guess that was the family meeting. And uh, it was that right then where I really decided that I, I wanted to still compete amateur. He's a great dad and he's a good friend. And, um, you know, we took it on as a family and we're still doing it that way. We still make decisions together, still call them. And, you know, they're my friends. I wouldn't go anywhere without them. There's more to it than just getting an Olympic medal. I didn't get a chance to compete in the Olympic Games healthy. They really, like the injury really took the Olympics away from me. Not necessarily the medal, because you have to earn that. But I mean, the whole, the whole idea of the Olympic Games and being right in the middle and fighting for Canada and the whole thing that I worked so hard for, when I couldn't skate, it was, it's all gone. And um, I want that chance back. I just want the chance. I don't necessarily care if I guarantee a medal or anything. I want that chance to prove to be there to fight. Already one major victory for the Browning family this year. Kurt's dad, Dewey, was able to make the trip to Prague after recovering from cancer surgery. And we're glad to report that he's doing well. We'll be back with Kurt Skate in a moment from Prague. Here he is, the leader after the technical program, going for a world championship quad. Kurt Browning of the Granite Club in Toronto and the Royal Glenora in Edmonton. Well, before the technical program, we talked about being cool under pressure. In the movie Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart was perhaps the epitome of cool. Let's see how cool Kurt's interpretation is. Well, the key to this pro making this program work will be the jump. He's opening with the triple axle combination. And he pulls it off. But the jump he's been having most difficulties with all week is the triple left.
Well, a solid performance, no doubt, Barbie. You mentioned the two-footed triple lutz. I hope the fact that he didn't get a triple-triple combination in doesn't affect his marks too badly because it would have been nice to have seen at least one. And as there are still some contenders to skate, it would have been an extra ace in his pocket. Well, Kurt in the past has always been known for his jumping. Here's a look at a beautiful triple axel. Pulls that up, goes straight up into the double jump. But he has developed every single element of his skating now. Not we, just the jumps anymore. Here we see the triple flip. Little outside on the landing, but he sits on it, lets it come through, and pulls it off. There's Donald Jackson applauding one world champion, applauding another. Oh, I like that. Guess what I got for you? From Wade, your brother, a bogey tie. From Wade? Yeah, from Wade. He wants you to put it on. Let's get the mark. <laughs> bogey tie Thanks, from his Wade. brother. Hi, Tina in England. Wherever England is. Hello, Tina. You did well. Technical marks for Kurt Browning. Five sevens and five eights. We saw Donald Jackson a moment ago. He wants a picture in Prague with now Donald and boy, he'd love to have it with both of them wearing gold medals. That was pretty exciting. Well, it appears that the change in coaching has really worked for Kurt. He's developed a, a whole new side to his skating, and it's just so enjoyable to watch. And here come the artistic marks, and you can hear the roar of six from the French judge. Five nines. From seven of the judges, five eight from the American judge, first place marks, and almost no room for Mark Mitchell of the United States. That's the old I don't know. I Can you win a gold medal and an Oscar in the same year? Browning's a great actor and what an athlete. Anyway.